everyone. Today's lesson um, is a really quick one um, as we're now juggling things with people being in school and stuff like that. So I'm keeping the tasks pretty short so that you can hopefully keep up with it with lots of challenges and extensions for those who are not in school or who finish really quickly. Um, and today we're starting Marxism. So we're looking at the traditional Marxist view um, of crime and deviance. We've got functionism and now it's time to compare with Marxism. So first task I want you to do, a really quick one, is to pause here and there's a word cloud there with loads and loads of different words um, relating to Marxism. I'd like you to use a minimum of five words from the word cloud and I'd like you to write a quick summary of how Marxists view society working. So what is the Marxist view of how society works? A couple of minutes, minimum five words from the word cloud, off you go. Okay, so hopefully you've reminded yourself of the fact that Marxism is a conflict theory. They see society um, as sort of polarised with the bourgeoisie and the proletariat against each other. The bourgeoisie exploit the proletariat for their own gain to make them more money so that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And we've already talked about in year 10 how the family plays a part in reproducing this and how the education system plays a part in reproducing this. And from now on, we're going to have a look at what they've got to say about crime. So when it comes to uh, the causes of crime, Marxists argue that, you know, no surprises here, it's capitalism that produces crime. Capitalism causes crime. And the word right there at the bottom that you're going to need to know is the idea that capitalism is criminogenic. And all that means is it causes crime. Uh, so if something is criminogenic, it causes crime. And Marxists believe that it that crime is an inbuilt part of capitalism. It's a natural phenomenon that will occur when you have a capitalist system. If you think about everything we've learned about capitalism, the idea of pursuing wealth and money, um, it's about self-interest and greed and personal gain. And therefore, Marxists believe that crime should be expected. We are taught to be greedy. We're taught to be um, self-interested, to look out for ourselves only to get as much as we can, to always want more. We've got the media in the background telling us about all these things that we should be buying, and therefore it makes us competitive. And crime, particularly um, utilitarian crimes, so things like theft, burglary, um, selling drugs for money, all of those things are to be expected within a capitalist society because that's how we're told to behave. So Marxists argue that capitalism is criminogenic. It causes crime because of the values and the ideas that it passes on to its members of society. A related concept is the idea of marginalisation. So Marxists believe that the working classes may commit crime due to experience mar experiencing marginalisation. Marginalisation, if you think about the margin on a page or a margin in your book, is right at the side. It's right on the edge. And to be marginalised means to be pushed to the edges, um, to be sidelined. If you have a look there, there's a thesaurus picture with loads of words on. To be disregarded, to be demoted, um, to be completely left out. And Marxists argue that because of their lack of money and power, the proletariat, the working classes feel marginalised. They feel pushed to the edges of society. They experience what we call social exclusion. Because access to full opportunities and experiences that other people are not available um, to them, that other people can experience are not available to them, working class people may commit crime as a result of their frustration. So a bit different to Cohen's status frustration, um, but similar in some ways as well, that people are pushed, their opportunities are blocked, and therefore they may commit crime as a result of their frustration. 
and that is how marginalisation can be um, a cause of crime for Marxists. Linked to this is the idea of relative deprivation. So we've talked about material deprivation. Material deprivation is lacking um, material goods, lacking possessions because you can't afford them. Relative deprivation is linked to marginalisation and it's the idea that people feel that they are deprived. So in relation to other people, when they're comparing themselves to other people, uh, some people may feel as though they are deprived because they lack the things that other people have. And this links to capitalism and our consumer society. So capitalist society is based on consumerism. We have the media advertising. All of these um, social institutions are geared up to be telling us um, all of these possessions that we need to have. We've got to have the latest trainers, designer clothes, mobile phones, etc., etc. And we have a bit of FOMO, fear of missing out, if we're unable to have them. We feel deprived, we feel as though it's unfair, we feel it's unjust, um, because we feel as though we have to have those. So if you think we've talked about this with childhood before, that pester power idea that children are encouraged, you know, the number of adverts that are in children's TV shows, um, you go to the supermarket and they put all the toys near to the till so that kids can see them and pester their parents while they're standing in a queue to buy them stuff. All of that is leading to us feeling as though we're missing out on things, that we want more stuff. And all of this comes from capitalism. And because some people feel that they are deprived in some way, uh, they might commit crime to solve that problem. So they might steal, they might sell drugs as a way to get money to be able to afford uh, those goods, or they might just steal the goods for themselves. So relative deprivation is one way um, that Marxists believe capitalism causes crime. These aren't perfect ideas though, a little bit of AO3 for you. So what's good about it? Well, it exposes the problems of the inequalities caused by capitalism. It makes us realise, it takes Marxism sort of one step further. It's not just saying, oh, society's really unfair, we need to change society. It's actually showing us how this leads to social problems. Um, and it exposes the greed of capitalism. It makes us realise these values that capitalism is instilling in people. However, not perfect ideas, and you can use a couple of examples here to, to question them. Um, Switzerland has incredibly low crime rates, uh, but it is a capitalist country. So if capitalism causes crime, we'd expect crime to be everywhere. Um, and also, we know that Marx wanted communism. He believed we should have a revolution to create communism. Some countries have tried that, and lo and behold, they didn't manage to eradicate all of their crime. So just because there's communism doesn't mean it gets rid of crime and it doesn't necessarily mean that Marx was right. So what we've looked at so far are the ways that Marxists believe capitalism causes crime. Marxists believe that capitalism is criminogenic um, and that's partly because of the values it instills, how it leads to marginalisation, social exclusion, and how it leads to relative deprivation. Um, I've mentioned it on Show My Homework, but with some students returning to school on certain days, um, I've differentiated the work quite a lot, and I've set separate tasks for certain people if you have a look on Show My Homework. So please complete the appropriate tasks um, on Show My Homework. And if it takes you a day or two to get the work done at the moment, that's absolutely fine. But please remember to send it to me so that I can tick you off my list and make sure that what you're understanding is, is on point. Particularly important for me going forward so that I can make sure that our in-school sessions are as appropriate as they can be for where you guys are at. Take care.